everybody, it's Crystal. I wanted to make a video for you today because I'm doing some, you know, reading, researching. I've got a class that I'm thinking about doing on abundance and wealth building. And, and you know, I have a lot of light workers that follow me or are subscribed to me. And these are people who feel that there's a higher version spiritually for their lives and that they should be using their lives in that kind of a way to bring light into this world. And light workers tend to have a lot of conflict around money and our deservingness or worthiness around money. And so I'm, I'm making this class and as I was preparing materials, it struck me how pejoratively or degradingly we speak about abundance and we don't even don't catch ourselves doing it. We speak degradingly about wealth. Think about it. We call the wealthy the filthy rich, filthy rich, entitled pricks, don't we? We call the wealthy the 1% while we're the 99%. And while on its face that's not 1% doesn't mean anything, in reality the energy of that is speaking something into existence. It's causing separation between us, the 99, and the 1, which are the abundant ones. And so it is. As a man speaks, so he is. My challenge for you today is to really pay attention to how you're speaking. Now, this isn't anything new. We've all probably seen Oprah. <laughs> We've all read The Secret and we understand probably what magnetism is and the law of attraction. We understand how these things work, but we need to go deeper with it and we need to get serious about it because this is a thought form reality, irrespective of what you may think because things don't happen the way you want them to happen. So you may think it's not a thought form reality, but it is. If things aren't happening, the way you would like them to happen, it's because you're not thinking correctly. What I want to do is demonstrate an, an energetic principle for you and really break it down so you get it, okay? And I'm going to do this out of the Bible. Don't get crazy. I get so many letters from people because I reference Christianity, but that's just because I came up through Christianity. This is what I was in and there are eternal things. There's truth in every system. And so I source and I mine out of different systems. And I do, this, I do this a lot out of Christianity, but that doesn't mean I endorse a religion. This is a scripture out of the Bible, the New Testament in particular, and it's John 1, 1. And it says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. That's kind of confusing, isn't it? As a teenager coming up in Christianity, I really didn't understand what that meant, but I understand it now. When God brought all things into creation, he did so by speaking it into existence. And what people fail to realize is that we can avail ourselves of the very same creation process God used to bring all things into creation, just as God spoke the archangels and the angels and you into creation and existence, so too can we speak that which we want to create in our lives, abundance, wealth, and anything else into existence using our word. What is our word? As humans, what word do we have? We have our actual words. These words are packages of energy. Sound is an energy just as anything else is an energy. In fact, sound is a conveyance for energy. It moves energy around. It sends energy into things. It receives energy as well. Sound is powerful. And we have sound in our voices. As a man speaks, so he is. In the beginning was the word, the sound of God's voice, creator, source, universe. God does not care if you call him Sally. In the beginning, it was through the sound that he brought it into existence. And this is how you can do it as well. I really want to encourage you to be mindful of what it is you're saying to yourself because words start in the mind. What are you saying to yourself in the mind? What are you saying about yourself in the mind? What are you saying about others? in your mind, your situation, your health, your beauty. What are you saying that you're not even paying attention to? That is creating your reality. If you want to be more spiritual, master the monkey mind. Get into the narratives that are on loop always, telling you who you are and telling you what this world is. Because heads up, this world is a beautiful place. 
This world is a beautiful place if we choose to experience it that way. I once went to see, I always want to call him Neil Diamond Walsh. It's Neil Donald Walsh. He wrote the Conversations with God books. And I didn't know what to expect. You know, those books were okay, but I went to his lecture and I just loved his energy. I don't know if you've ever seen him, but his energy was so gentle and so sweet. And at some point in his lecture, he came to this part where he talked about, I think it's out of A Course in Miracles. It's this philosophy that he lives his life by before he does anything before he goes anywhere, before he sits in front of anybody to say anything, he thinks to himself, I have come into this room to heal this room. There is no other reason for me to be here. I have come into this space to heal this space or to bless this space. There's no other reason for me to be here. I have come into this relationship to bless this relationship. There is no other reason for me to be here. I love that. I love that. And I want us all to think in accordance with that. And with regard to words, we should say, I am speaking these words to bless someone. There is no other reason to speak them. I am speaking this, these words to create something that I want to make manifest with intention. There is no other reason for me to speak them. I want us to speak with intention. I want us to monitor our thoughts. I want us to understand we have access to the very same creative process that God used to bring everything into existence. Jesus said, you are all gods. You big dummies, you don't realize it. You're gods, you have access to infinite resources. You are the magicians of your lives and yet you walk around suffering all the time, perceiving in a state of your choice. Choose differently. It's not 99%, 1%. It is what you want it to be. And so, as a man speaks, so he is. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning of your life, which is now, Okay, you're never going to be younger than you are right now. In the beginning of your life, you are the word. What word are you going to use to speak your life as you wish to live it into existence?